everyone so today I am going to be doing my budget with you guys and I'm going to be going through what I spent in the month of February and then we are going to create a new budget for the month of March kind of based on that and see if we need to change things around or if there's anything this month that I know I'm going to be spending some money on so here's my little budget journal that I use and write everything out in and let's just go ahead and flip right to February. All right, I just kind of zoomed you in a little bit here so you can see this a little bit better. Hopefully that helps. So for the month of February, I'm going to start with my irregular expenses and I have two here, gas and groceries. For my gas, I ended up spending $56.94 from my $70 that I had budgeted, which is good because that means that I have $13.06 left over from that, which I can then add to my current total, giving us a new total of $438.61. Now I am trying to build this up again a little bit because um, next, season I will be needing to purchase some more parking passes. Now on to groceries. I had budgeted $225 for the month of February because in January I definitely spent over the $200 that I normally do. Um, but I was actually able to keep it pretty good this past month because we actually didn't go grocery shopping as much as we usually do, which is kind of odd, but we were able to cut back just a little bit. I don't know if that's something we're going to be able to continue to do, but we will see. So I did end up spending four groceries, $170.02, which means that I did have some money left over. So I still had $54.98 left from what I budgeted. So we are going to add that to the current total that I had. And that is going to give us a new total of $234.79. All right, now I'm gonna move us into the spending category here and we will start with entertainment. So entertainment, I had budgeted $10 and I didn't spend any money in for entertainment. And then I also budgeted $50 for clothing and didn't spend any money for clothing either. So we're just gonna carry those two things over into my difference column here. And then we are going to add those up. So for entertainment, I now have a new total of $120. And then for clothing, I now have a new total of $730.98. I really need to get some new clothing. I'm just, I'm just struggling. So we'll see, hopefully I can start spending some of this money here. I did make a purchase from Beauty. Um, I think I made one Ulta purchase. Yeah, I believe I made an Ulta purchase and I did share that in my haul video. So if you wanna know what I picked up, you can go check that out. I had budgeted $50 and I only spent $28.09, which means that I had some money left over, which is really nice. So I have $21.91 left over from what I had budgeted. So we are going to add that up to what I had accumulated previously. So our new total is $78.05, which I am thinking I might be spending some money this month from this category. So I'm kind of glad to see it's, you know, getting a little bit bigger, uh, saved up for that. For decor and furniture, I actually didn't spend any money this month. Um, I will be spending some money for furniture pretty soon when that bill comes in. As you know, I have purchased a couch, um, but we haven't received it yet. So we're just gonna move over the, what I had budgeted for each of those categories into the difference column and add those up. So now for decor, I have a new total of $298.10. And for furniture, I have a new total of $1,536.82, which is good because the couch was pr quite pricey. So yeah, I'm glad that this number is higher. If it was higher than this, I would be even happier. So 
Hopefully we can get there before the couch comes. For eating out, I surprisingly didn't spend a whole lot. I don't think we did a whole lot of eating out, and if we did, it was pretty inexpensive. Um, so I only spent $20.97. I think we went out for Chinese and that was that one eating out uh, meal that we did. So that means that I was left over with $49.03, which is really good. So I'm going to add that to the total that we already had. So now we have $185.08 in my eating out um, savings kind of category here. For the rest of these, I actually didn't purchase anything, so I didn't purchase any gifts, and I didn't purchase anything for YouTube this past month, but I will be purchasing something this month. Um, I am getting the scale. So I have already purchased it, it just hasn't hit my bank account yet, so that's why I'm not including it in um, my spending here, but I did purchase something, and I'm not sure if I'll purchase anything else or not. There's a couple of other things I am thinking of purchasing, um, but we will see. So anyway, we're just going to move these mounts over that we had budgeted for the month of February and then add them up. So now for gifts, I have a new total of $150. And for YouTube, I now have $100 to spend. Now into sinking funds. We have a couple of things here. And the first one is car maintenance, which I didn't have to luckily do any more car maintenance. And then also home fixes, we didn't do any home fixes. So I'm just, again, going to carry over those numbers over into the column over here, and we are going to add them up. So this is pretty easy here. We now have for car maintenance, $465.08. And then for home fixes, we now have $1,550. Um, saved up. So that's good. Um, I was told when I got my car looked at that there is an issue that may need to be fixed down the line and it will be very costly. So I really do need to um, bulk up this number quite a bit. For medical, I had budgeted 25. I had quite a few medical things that I had to do this past month. So I ended up spending over that. I spent $69.11. I had a doctor's appointment, I had some things I had to pick up from the pharmacy, um, and just some some health things I had to pick up from the drugstore. So yeah, I did spend a little bit of money there, and then that obviously means that I am negative now, um, $44.11, but I did have some money saved up, thank goodness, so I, I'm still okay. <laughs> Um, so our new total is $530.89. The last category here is my savings. And I didn't spend any money in my, or from my savings this past month. So we're just going to put a little dash through all of those categories, which is good. It means that we are still saving up and we are accumulating some money to eventually buy these things. Um, so for Christmas, that means that we are just going to move over the 75, add that up, and now we have $150 put aside for that. Um, for travel, we are going to move over the $50. I am planning on traveling this month, um, so we'll kind of look at that when I do my budgeting. So now we have $1,600. It kind of messed up writing there, but $1,600 for travel. For the bike, again, we're going to move over the $50, add this up, and our new total is going to be $670. For a shed, I am going to move over the $100 that we had budgeted, which now gives me $200. We're just going to kind of build this up as we go um, because sheds are pretty expensive as well. And then for the other category, surprisingly, we didn't spend anything from there. I'm happy about that. So we actually got to save some money. That's kind of what my other is for. Anything that I don't include in these categories as well as kind of just savings in general. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't spend any money from that. And so that gives us a new total of $474.62.
So now this is all filled out, kind of give you a quick overview of everything. I did okay, did pretty good. I will say that I had one expense that I, I don't share that I was negative, so um, that one I didn't do as good on, but I didn't know what my amount was going to be in February and it ended up just being up more than I had estimated, which is fine because we are going to make up for it in our March budget over here. So here is kind of my setup that I already have. I put in all of the totals that we just um, had for the end total for February. So that is already plugged into here, but we are going to go through our budget of what I'm going to be doing for the month of March. Again, zoomed you in a bit here so that hopefully you can see a little bit better. So for my irregular expenses, I have the two categories again, so gas and groceries. And for gas, I believe I did 70 last month, um, but I'm going to bring it back down to 60. Hopefully I can stay within that. I'm just trying to get a good feel for what a good budget will be going forward for this year. And then hopefully I can just do the same budget number each month. So I'm just trying to play with it right now and see what the, the sweet spot is. For groceries, I'm going to attempt to do the 200 again and see how that goes. Maybe it was a kind of a one-off thing that I spent more in a previous month this year. So we're going to try and stick to the 200 and see if we can do that. Last month we were we were under that, so I'm, I'm hoping that that's something we can do. All right, now let's look at my spending chunk here. And this has my entertainment, which I'm going to keep at $10. I don't think that's too bad. It's pretty low amount and, um, you know, I don't usually pull from this, but when I do need to, I feel like it's good that I have a little bit saved up. For clothing, I am doing 50 again. I debated on making that lower, but I think for now we're going to put 50. This might eventually change um, in you know, coming months, but for now we're gonna keep it at 50. Same with beauty. I actually am pretty sure I'll be making some purchases from Ulta this month because of their um, 21 days of beauty sale that they do. I believe that that's in March. For decor, I am also going to be budgeting 50. And for furniture, I am going to do 100. Like I said, I do have a couch coming, so I will be uh, spending quite a bit from our total here in a little bit. And then for eating out, we are going to do 60. So that is a little bit lower than what I did last time, and that's because I didn't spend that much. So again, I'm just trying to find that sweet spot that I can be at for the rest of the year. And for gifts, there are some things that I will need to be giving gifts for this month. Um, and 100 might actually be pretty low of a budget. But we will see. We'll see what we can do. I have um, a wedding coming up, um, which is what I'm going to be traveling for. Um, and then I might have some other things. So we will see. But again, I do have some money set aside for this category as well. And then for YouTube, I'm going to do 50 again. I, again, almost made this lower, but there is something that I am trying to bulk this up for so that I can purchase. So that's, that's why I want to kind of keep 50 going there. This right here should actually be 100. I don't know why that says 50. So, oops, that's okay. We'll just fix that real quick. All right, now let's move into our sinking funds. So for car maintenance, I am going to again put $100 into that category as well as my home fixes, so $100 there as well. We're going to be doing $25 in medical. Um, I don't think, oh that's a lie, I think I actually do have something in medical. I did not think about that before making this budget, but we'll see. We'll see because I do have some money still here, so hopefully it'll be okay. I do have a doctor's appointment at the very very tail end of March so maybe it won't even hit my account until until after so we'll see all right last section here is our savings for Christmas I'm going to keep it at $75 that I'm going to put aside for travel we're going to be doing a hundred because like I said I am going to be traveling this month um, just a little trip for the bike I am setting aside $50 
the shed I am setting aside a hundred which then leaves me with a hundred and thirteen dollars to put into other so there we go there's an overview of my budget <laughs> you can see as I write I, I totally didn't go in a straight line that's okay sometimes that happens hopefully this was fun for you guys to watch you guys enjoyed seeing my spending and my budgeting and how I kind of break it down split it up and figure it all out at the end of each month and the beginning of each month if you guys do a budget let me know down below what do you do for yours is it similar to this method do you use a different method does um, your budgeting work for you does it help you out keep you on track things like that let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads I do multiple different kind of videos on my channel I do some beauty videos I do project panning uh, fashion just pretty pretty much whatever is something that may interest me that I think may be interesting to share with you guys so go ahead follow along and I will see you all next time. I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful rest of your day.